Hi everyone, this is Beatrice from Stawisha. Happy International Youth Day. Personally, technology has helped me to advocate for mental health awareness and gender equality. So grab your laptops, grab your phones, tag that friend who needs help. Together, let's make a virtual community. Thank you. Hi everyone, happy International Youth Day. This is Dan from Stawisha Africa Initiative in Kenya. Uh, from click to progress, what does this mean to me? It means that young people have the opportunity to charter their destiny through the digital pathways that are available that should be exploited. As Tawisha, we are ready to work with the young people, we are ready to chart those pathways, we are ready to redefine our future from click to progress. Hi, my name is Kudawasha Miti and I'm from Youth Vibes Africa, but I'm also part of uh, Youth Advocates Bab. And uh, I would just like to say happy International Youth Day to all the youth out there in Zimbabwe, in Sadak, in Zambia, in Malawi, Mozambique, Angola, Africa, and the world. Uh, and then as of for the age of consent, you know, a lot of people are getting exposed and uh, disadvantaged because they don't have access. So access is a good thing. So in terms of access to SRHR services, I believe this should be made available to everyone at any point in time. Thank you. I'm Maureen from Stawisha. Happy to celebrate with you International Youth Day from Click to Progress. Yes. Hi guys, my name is Nyashako Ratmakenira. I'm from Youth Vibes Africa. I'm here in Zambia representing Youth Advocates Zimbabwe. Um, mostly about SRHR, uh, I'd like uh, free access of information, especially to those people who are living in rural areas where they can get um, access to information, especially that causing their health, especially for ladies, um, young girls, they have, should have like access to health, information about health from... Uh, Hello guys, my name is Shelly Guni and I'm a media personnel. Um, as we celebrate this year's International Youth Day, which is running under the theme From Clicks to Progress, Youth Digital Pathways for Sustainable Development, I think it's a powerful reminder of the impact we as young people can have if we use our digital tools and platforms for a positive change. Um, this is a day where we celebrate our ability to drive progress and innovations through, through technology. Um, and for me, I I think it's a call to action to use my digital skills um, to address to pressing issues, be it in the community, to advocate for change, to contribute to sustainable development, um, to network. So I am just um, urging um, all the youth out there to embrace this day by turning your clicks into into meaningful progress and I know together we can actually build a brighter and more sustainable future. Happy Hi, my name is Rubita Devon Uripoi and I work with Clean and Save. Clean and Save is a youth-led organization that seeks to contribute to climate action through mainly promoting sustainable waste management practices. I've been contributing to the Urban Futures project being implemented by Green Governance Trust Zimbabwe through mainly offering insights from a sustainability angle um, in the Mutara working group as well as in the Rua F working group. My interpretation of International Youth Day is that it's a day set aside to globally recognize the role that young people play in development issues and ensuring that your voices are included in all development issues. My understanding of this year's theme for International Youth Day is that Digital spaces provide so many options to click on, from online engagements on platforms like Zoom, accessing online courses and resources, which all empower young people to be able to contribute and enable us as a global community to progress in advancing and attaining sustainable development. And this also reinforces the need to reduce the digital divide because young people can contribute to sustainable development. My name is Sophie Nasilele and I'm a youth from Kitwe district in the Copper Belt province of Zambia. So I recently completed my academic journey and I was studying agriculture science education. My involvement in entrepreneurship is based on crop production and 
Flower Production, which is Floriculture. I was lucky to be among the few young people that were selected by CHEP to take part in the Urban Future project. So from this project, we are being equipped with skills and knowledge that can help us in sustainably ensuring that my community Kito is food secured. International Youth Day, which falls on 12th August every year, is a day that was adopted by the United Nations. This day mainly focuses on ensuring that youths are equipped with the right information and they are given a chance to showcase their skills and abilities in as far as uh, community development is concerned. This year's theme for the International Youth Day is saying, from clicks to progress, youth digital pathways for sustainable development. How I personally understand this theme is that I, I, for one as a young person, can use technology for sustainable development. For instance, I have this saw here, and whenever I'm trying to plant the crops that I sell, I need to know the soil pH. And by that, there are certain te there are technologies that have been made or that have come about, and these are helping in testing the nutrient content of the soil, the soil pH, and everything. Here, as I grow my flowers, you find that it's very difficult for me to sell these plants. But using technology, I'm able to sell these plants using social networks as means of uh, selling my produce and all my products. 